morning, Miss Hitchcock. Uh, I know Emily's here for her four-month visit. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, she seems to be uh, pretty healthy. Yeah, she's uh, doing great. Have you noticed any problems with her at all? No, she's been such a good baby, and everything seems to be going really well. Excellent, excellent. One thing I noticed, however, was uh, looking through your uh, your uh, child's chart is it doesn't appear that she's received any of her vaccinations. Oh yes, no, we're not going to give in Emily any vaccinations that could hurt her. What do you What do you mean hurt her exactly? Well, you're the doctor. You should probably know about everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all over the media that vaccinations can hurt babies. I mean, even Jenny McCarthy, who I really, really like and trust, says that vaccinations can cause autism. With all due respect, Ms. Hitchcock, uh, you know, Jenny McCarthy is not a reliable source of good medical information. I think you need to reevaluate where you, uh, you know, filter this information. You can't just, uh, you know, look anything up on the internet or the news and expect that you know, it's going to be safe for your baby. This could kill your baby. Well, but on the internet and the website, it says that if I give her the vaccine, that there's a chance she could get autism. You know, I, you know if you could please not mention anything more about uh, Jenny McCarthy and the internet. I mean, it is not an evidence-based way of looking at things, and I think it's really going to be bad for your baby. Do you want that? Well, no, I, I don't want anything bad for my Well, baby. then I think you should get the vaccine, or I think you're going to be hurting your baby. Well, I just don't know what I want to do. Okay, well, what you need to do is, uh, you know, stop and think rationally about this, and uh, then we can talk again about your child's care. Does that sound okay to you? Okay. Okay.